that's what's up. Yeah, lucky we didn't say anything dodgy. <laughs> I mean, I would give up doing it, but, you know, the money is so good. It's not like I can really do stripping. Well, you could. No, no one would want to pay for that. You could do it at Stevie Wonder's parties. <laughs> That I could. See? If you can set it up, Scott, you can get a, a portion of the, the proceeds. I just called to say I'm a stripper. <laughs> okay, here we go. Landfill away. And fill out. Okay. Got a train stop, have I? Possibly, maybe. Okay, so you're heading up to put those things down, I guess? I, I will be. Right now, I'm trying to make the stuff I need so that I have it before I go up there and realize okay. I need it. Okay. Well, I'm going to head up there and do some stuff with the tracks, I guess. Cool. Getting that set up would be awesome. I can have it pump over there so I know where you want it. So. Six and eight. Yeah. This is a bit annoying. I put the tracks so close to each other, I can't... Uh... I can't put a, a split in there so they um, don't have to wait miles away. People want to do that for work experience at school. <laughs> well, they wanted to be drug dealers for work experience. I mean, things have changed a bit. I worked at a, an insurance company. Which is like... Same thing. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. It wasn't much fun. <laughs> I mean, both kind of like drug dealers. <laughs> Are they? In insurance agents? I mean, they they will set you up with a doctor that'll push drugs to you. So in a way, kind of. Not really, but that's okay. <laughs> Well, I for one, I'm glad we cleared that up, Jesse. Anytime, man. Anytime. Okay, people want it to be strippers as well. Okay. Um, oh. Yeah, let's not talk about Lovely. that. Let's not talk about that. Uh, guys, in case you didn't know, Scott doesn't want to talk about that because he used to actually be a stripper. Actually, so I have a uh, phobia of going in strip clubs. Well, maybe not a phobia. That's probably a phobia? bit strong. Maybe not a phobia. They freak me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. They freak you out? Yeah. How, How so? Are you sure you want to ask that question? I mean, I'm I'm intrigued to find out what you mean by they freak you out. That's that sounds intriguing to me. Does this give you enough room, sunshine? Um. Yes, should. It Where should. are the pumps here? They're Sorry. going to be. Hold on. So if I put that there, we should have brought the train with us. You know what? 
I think that's the closest to your tracks, is that one right there. Yeah, I don't know if I... W I think I might have told this story before about strip clubs. Maybe, maybe. I went to a strip club in Ireland for a stag do, um, and uh, it was my brother's stag do, and we went in a strip mm -hmm. club, um, and <laughs> one of his mates and he, me walked in at the same time, and he um, he farted, right? And it was the most disgusting thing I've ever smelt. Bearing in mind we were in a strip club. Um, okay. We got sprayed with fresh air spray by a stripper, right? I'm like, how am I? And he, he, more importantly, how is he the stinkiest thing in a strip club? That's what I don't understand. Oh, God. So there you go. You learned something. No, no. That doesn't equate a phobia. Or like no, a... no. It's just, I'll tell you what it is. You go, have you been to a strip club? Yes. Yeah. yeah, and what you was know, yeah. what was your experience like? I see. I, I never was like the typical guy with as far as strip clubs go. Like guys get all excited for it, blah blah blah. I saw it as just another bar to go to. You know what I mean? Like I I never went being like oh you know chicks or whatever because you're not going home with them. You're not doing anything fun. So just a place to go get drunk, really. Well, I mean, you can do something fun if you want to do it, I suppose. Not really in American ones. I, I suppose if you're paying, you know, way too much money, that's not worth it with a gross stripper. <laughs> well, this is the thing, right? Is that you go into you go into a strip club mm -hmm. and there'll be some very attractive females there. Or males, depending on... on your yeah, you know, what your preference is. Preference, um, yeah. And you go in, and as soon as you sit down, these very attractive females sit down beside you and start talking to you. Mm -hmm. right? And I'm like, if I was out in a normal place, this wouldn't be <laughs> happening. No, not even close. Um, and that, that annoys me and freaks me out somewhat at the same time. I could see that. Um, I need to change the name of this to Oil North East... One. Okay. Yeah, I think you know what, Holly. I think if 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 there wasn't a social interaction at a strip club, I would be fine. Mm. Um. <laughs> I, I'm saving the other story because <laughs> I just can't do it. <laughs> I can't tell it. Um, so I've got kind of a funny, uh, I don't know, actually. <laughs> no, now that I think about it, no, because just it's a funny story, but I can't tell the funniest part of the story because it, it would... Twitch would probably blow your mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, no, but I was actually in a. You know how I'm an actor. So, uh, you know, after I was out of school and stuff like that, I actually was in a, a you know, couple small independent films for like film students. What? And, stuff like that. and one of them was actually called the Strip Club, and it was about guys going to a strip club, and you know, the kind of social po -fa so faux pas, the rules that you should follow, shit like that. And, um, it, <laughs> it just, it, it, so we get to this part where he's, you know, they just, it, it was the B-roll shots, okay? And they wanted, <laughs> they wanted B-roll of me and them, we're all sitting uh, at a strip club, you know, and just, talking having a good time so they wanted a, a close-up of my face of me like looking at a, a hot stripper and being like all into it and like kind of talking dirty to her so they're like just say the dirtiest thing you can think of and i did and everyone in the room stopped and then just burst out laughing i'm not gonna even <laughs> say what it is but i know you right that that scares me <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. See, yeah, I mine fair. mine is completely different to that. I went to a strip club in. Um, I went to to Prague. Essentially, all of Prague is a strip club. Oh, right, right, right. The whole right here. The whole thing is just one giant, one giant nakedness place. <laughs> it it is the red light country. It's so weird. It's great. I loved it. I loved being there. It was so funny, but um, but it at the same time it was just weird. That everywhere you went, there was just naked people. I think Jesse might be crashing. Oh, good. Oh, good what? Oh. You seem to be struggling somewhat. (laughs) Okay. Oh. No. I might have corrected itself. Doesn't sound like it's... Yeah. Doesn't sound like it's corrected itself. I think we might have lost Jesse, everybody. There he goes. <laughs> okay, so we are going to... Oh. Oil. Stop saying oh. We're back. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're you, don't, back. you don't look that good. No. no. I mean, I'm, I'm getting back into the game. and Oh, I see what you did there. No, I mean, genuinely, your PC camera isn't moving at all. Something has happened to Jesse. It's all a bit weird. I guess so, apparently. Am I in this? I am in this, okay. Any better? No idea. Okay. No path. You know, no path. I need to turn on my light. That you would help. Definitely need to turn on your light. Okay, so once again, we're back to the whole no path routine. Why is this? So we know this bit is okay based on these. So I think it's this bit here. Um, so Scott, I have this all set up, but I'm not sure where you want the pumps going in. Where the train will be. But that's what I. <laughs> I don't know where they'll be. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't can't remember how to do this. Why is it always so difficult? Um, because if it wasn't, then it'd be easy. <laughs> Words of wisdom. God, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. It actually lays it out for you. Huh. That's kind of interesting. All right. Still no path, huh? Okay. I'm doing this the good old fashioned way then, fine. There you go. Oh no. That's gonna be Is this the right way? Okay, I think this is the right way. Oh, I see. There's no path, I think, because of this one right here. Oh, ball bags. Did you? Did you? Did I what? 
get hit by a train? No, I drove into a train. Oh. Um, not, not as fun. No. Uh, Jesse, uh, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued to find out what Jesse said, but at the same time, I know Jesse well enough to know. <laughs> I don't really want to know what Jesse said. Well, let's just put it to you like this: it was 19 year old me. Oh God. <laughs> I think we're all better off not knowing. And for the record, they when they laughed, they weren't laughing with me. <laughs> I'm more intrigued to uh, how we see this. How we see... Oh, I... You know, honestly, I have no idea. This was back pretty much at the very beginning of the internet when, like, videos weren't really uploaded. There was no YouTube. There was nothing like that. Um, so I have no idea. I lost touch with the guy, unfortunately. I, I really wish I could find it. That would be awesome. See, we went to we so we went to a strip club in Prague, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of my mates were doing stuff that that I say strip club. It was it was it was the next step up from a strip club. I'm going to be honest, right? Um, I feel you. But essentially, it's this big like regal building. It's really quite I say plush. It was quite nice for what it was you go in and there's just like ladies scantily clad everywhere right mm -hmm. um and then you know you buy a drink and you sit down it costs you 20 quid for a beer and you sit down and um um people come up to you and talk to you and ask if you want to do things right and a lot of my mates were disappearing into various rooms and doing stuff and i'm like it's just not for me um if i'm That's honest fair. if i'm honest with you yeah. uh, and then this um this um Ukrainian lady came up to me and my brother at the time um, was getting married to a Ukrainian. Okay. Um, I think we've got a problem here. I'm not going to lie. Uh oh. Oh, you mother... F um, yeah, at the time, my brother was getting married to a Ukrainian. So, um, I sat down and said uh, she sat down and spoke to me and i said well my brother's getting married to ukraine and i've got to go to the ukraine she's like where are you going and we started having a conversation right just a normal conversation or at least she was sitting there in her underwear and i was quite drunk but we just had like this normal conversation about essentially about the ukraine um okay. and then um this big burly bouncer came over <laughs> and looked at me, looked at her, and tapped his watch, right? Obviously meaning, look, you've been talking to him for however long. He's clearly not going to do anything. Move on, right? <laughs> so, And I felt so guilty that I gave her some euros for essentially having a conversation with me. I'm wow. like, this is, this is the real me. I just want to tell that story because that's how nice I am, Jesse. That, that is, yeah. You know. you're, you're a very nice person, Scott. <laughs> oh no oh no oh no that's the word something like that <laughs> um so we're all set up up here well I've got a few train issues I'm not gonna lie buddy that, that does happen. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yeah, how's it? How, how's it? How's it looking, buddy? Well, I think I'm still going to have train issues. Going to get rid of these. Like so. Did I leave another train on the track? I did. Here he be. I don't think this is the way forward, but... You don't think it is, or you do? Still no bloody way there, huh? Is that what you're telling me? I think you're lying. If I can get there, I think you're... Oh, crap. I think you're lying to me. So, let's see if this works. I go this way... 
And then in theory... What's so difficult about that? Ah. I think I might have... Get out of the train. Get out of the train! Um... I can't, it's all I've got, it's driving me mad. Silent fist waving. Because otherwise there'd have been F bombs. <laughs> and I'm not about that life. You're not? Well, I probably am. Scott, I, I mean we've all heard that you're all about that base. So I mean you know. I am here with a train. Fill me up. Um, what? Nothing. I don't even know how these work. This is filling up. What's the disconnect center and back? What's this shiz? Um, you can separate the tankers into three sections or keep them all one section or it can be two okay yep. does this say no path yet let's be honest we're all expecting it to say no path i mean i'm giving you the benefit of the doubt scott so am i, I think man. it's, so it's, am it's I. gonna say it's just gonna go it's not gonna say anything all right what was i doing that's what it, a radar would be really good right about now. Not gonna lie. I. That, okay. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. Let's go. Okay, we're moving, everybody. We are moving. With oil, what's the worst that can happen? What is the worst that could happen? That's the worst that can happen. <laughs> Sorry, Holly, that is pretty much all we've got. Our whole repertoire is innuendos. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. We're like essentially a carry on film. Oh uh, uh, what? You didn't yeah, you don't suppose you got them. I don't know what that means. Carry on films okay. were like um Essentially comedy films, but yeah. their whole thing was innuendo. That's all Ameri they did. American Pie. Things like that. Well, no. Okay. No. Not really. But yes, but no. <laughs> which, which is it? No. Okay. But yes. But no. Fuck you. Fuck you, Um... <laughs> Well, no, it, it was just, it was... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Does this work? I feel like this might work. I feel like I... You did something right? I feel like I might have done something right. Good. For once in my life. That's what I like to hear. I mean, I also feel like this is just going to cause cues, but let's see what happens right about now. Funk Soul Brother. Uh, yeah, Carry On Films. Um, they were like, I don't really... So their comedy was like maybe going camping and in like the UK uh, holiday camps were like these big family type events uh, or they'd have like mm. organised activities and one of the scenes is like someone's doing their exercises and their bikini top flies off. Um, mm. There was a lot of ooh matrons, that sort of thing. Um, ooh matrons? Yeah. Oh no! What? Nothing. Nothing to see here. Did you crash? No. The oil. There's nothing to see here, man. So we don't have an explosion on our hands. No, there's there's just a queue. Okay. Just a small okay. little queue. As long as there's no blatant explosion. I I got I'm. I'm okay with it. Boop. 
Hello, Mr. Train? Hello? So, so Carry On films would be more like Porky's then. You, did, do you ever see Porky's or heard of it? Or you can't hear me? Like, no, I can hear you. Oh, all right. <laughs> You're just dealing with issues? Uh, I am somewhat dealing with issues, yeah. Okay. Oh, I think I think I may have solved the issues. Porkies. Um, no idea. Uh, it was a mid '80s, I think, movie about um, like a. And the server's not responding. Lovely. What is with my computer right now? Um, about a bunch of kids who are just trying to see tits and ass and. Things like that. Despicable behavior. Really? I mean, yeah. Why is that train quicker than mine? Oh, it's because we're pulling another thing. I see. Do you now? Hey, guess what? What? I'm here with some oil. Nice. Oh, look at these things. They connect to the top and they start... Sucking it out. Hot. So hot. I knew you'd like that one. Yeah, yeah, I did. I really did. Why is that one taking so long? I'm off again. If this yeah, works, it will be the greatest. If this works, this will be the greatest achievement of my life. Uh, of your entire life? Yeah. Wow. I haven't achieved a lot. It's essentially what I'm saying to you. See you, Jesse. That's fair enough. See ya. And yeah, um, Holly is right. You have four minutes until bedtime, Bio. Oh, shit. What, what, now, are, should we lay odds on as to if we think she's actually going to go to sleep then or not? Um, I reckon she'd go to sleep. Okay. This is not what I wanted. So why are you stopping there? Because there's a train here. Okay. Somewhat makes sense, I suppose. But. Thank you, Bio. I'll check that after afterward. She sent me something about Carry On film. Trying to show me. Yeah, you do need to be educated. <laughs> do I now? Yeah. I'd say I'm quite educated. Edumacated. Thank you very much. I'd argue with you slightly. This is so weird. Why a train so weird? Um, you got me, man. Uh, Holly, I'm pretty sure the way this is supposed to work is that if we make you laugh out loud, you're supposed to give us five pounds rather than... Mm. Than the other I way around. So. Yeah, that's definitely how it works. <laughs> um, or just speaking of, you can. Uh, there's a link to Scott's Patreon in the description below. No, I'm kidding. Not really. There no, is. There is, but there, he is kidding. <laughs> I've got no idea what the hell is happening here. I'm. I'm. This I'm is... sorry, man. It's this track in the middle that's the problem. I made it too close to the other one. I give you full permission to go and watch the Carry On film thing, it's Jesse. Um, I'm I'm busy. I would. <laughs> no, I will after. I, I'm gonna this is an afterwards. institution of British comedy. Alright, fine. No, you don't really. Everyone's yelling at me. No, no. You know what? Fine. <laughs> I never really used to like them that much, to be honest. 
Oh, balls.